Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Marcillon. I hope you're well. I <coughs> wanted to uh, to come and say hello. I haven't been able to speak because there's very little connection on the internet. It takes me a very long time to post uh, my video. The the heat is on. Eh? I had risen of my hair. So we're getting move, move a lot closer. We moved into the galactic new year on the 26th and now we're moving cl ever closer each and every day to the 888 portal, this great portal, the Lion's Gate portal, the alignment of the Sirius star system. It is a portal of healing. It is a portal of abundance. It's a portal of freedom. It is a portal of revelation. Uh, depending on, on where we at, we'll be utilizing this energy coming down on the eighth, and so so it is it is a very uh, a very potent time of the year, <clears throat> with a lot of action, a lot of going on within and without. But in order to change the world, we need to change our thoughts, we need to change our beliefs, we need to change our minds. Otherwise, we're going to repeat the same thing. Eh? For, for it's like no matter how where we are at in this world, we, we always have space for improvement because the. the um, from the source, God is, is spirit, but is also mind and is infinite mind. So within the mind, there will always be something to, to expand upon. So, uh, so it is important to accept the internal chaos, yet balancing always the energy with free will, eh? respect your, your, your comfort zone, your value, your, yet be open to, to, to love, to forgive, to, to, to exercise compassion. A lot of, ex a lot of, um, a lot of difficulty are are given right now to a lot of people in, in, in humanity just to have an opportunity to see if they can can they exercise compassion can can they can they uh, uh, it's actually everything is, is really uh, um, designed created by our own soul to, to 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 achieve a certain purpose in our evolution uh, in our evolution to be seated within our higher self i, I am presence and uh, they have, I know there are major events coming down, and it's like maybe we'll be out of electricity for a few days. I don't know. Speaking, spirit, Paris is spirit is talking to me about a lot about Paris and London and 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 my own personal life. Hopefully, this will unfold really soon. I don't know if I'm gonna be go when I'm gonna go directly there, or where I have to to make another stop. I'm gonna have to move from here, and I don't really have the means, so I have to trust the universe that will provide. So. Uh, from the guidance, it's very important to always be in contact, in, in touch with our own inner guidance, and the more and more because it is so. It is what's most permanent, the, um, most uh, pertinent for us to understand is what is revealed by our higher self through our dream, our intuition, our creative process. But the guidance can also come from different groups. Oh, it is all good, but sometimes those groups have different perspectives to offer, different opinion about things, and so so it is it is uh, it is something to balance out, to to feel out, and. Um, Spirit's talking to me about the Akash as well. So it's like a lot of information will be will be coming down. We need to be able to integrate all of the. We need to have enough love and compassion to integrate all that we'll see once we access the Akash. It's about maturing into adulthood in terms of soul to become ascended master. So, in uh, so so it's it's very uh, it's very important to continually be sensitive to the subtle energies, understanding there is a dynamic on the physical plane that we can see, emotional, intellectual, physical, but there is also a dynamic on the soul level in relationship to all with the higher self of everyone is trying to get everyone else and they have to work with individual free will. When we go to sleep at night, we, we, we don't know all that happens, sometimes we get a dream or an information, but um, it's it's very very important to to continue to develop your spiritual complex and to open your third eye to the, the seat of your consciousness and continue to also open your heart chakra focalize on this also uh, all those beautiful light and huh, that we can envision through our third eye once it is open to feel the emerald light the emerald golden light of the of mary of archangel raphael or eventually the heart will englobe everything the heart is everything exists within the heart of of god and within the heart of hearts there's like anything can you can contact anyone you can imagine this heart of heart is like this huge this infinite green space emerald green space and there is this huge heart in the center and there are, there are trillions and trillions and quadrillions and quintillions of little hearts that are going everywhere but we'll be confined to just looking at those on the earth for now and so um, 
and you can contact anyone from that space from heart to heart and so those are exercises um, but because we've been lost in separation uh, very much uh, separation uh, uh, f from ourselves from our source for we are source for the first source and center is the source of all creation then they are this coordinate and associate the, the, the sun the spirit and the great gods of time and space uh, and, and then we are all source we all are the source as well we are the source as well and everything is coordinated on the higher planes so it's uh, but it's so it, we, we do need to let go of many attachment um, but sorry about the interruption my phone uh, yesterday was so hot here that the phone completely gave up i'm really glad i'm sorry to i'm really glad uh, i got resurrected so uh, and then it took me uh, the whole night to put the video on the french so i figure i finished this video today thank you for your patience i um so I, 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 I want to talk about the continue to talk about the spiritual ascension path and, and there is three waves of ascension that are going to be happening that will really uh, that, that will really uh, assist in the progressive evolution of, 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 the, of humanity and the ascension of the planet for the planet cannot really wait all that much any longer um, because we, we got lost in the separation and we got lost, uh, we have to let go of attachment and, um, and, and complete all the karmic patterns that whatever karma, whatever is being felt deeply inside is really what we need to address. Huh? It's really what we need to address, and and uh, and for me, it's like I've just been through uh, for like two years a very intense uh, love experience. I don't know if it's closed or there were, if it, if it completed its cycle, or if there is a new chapter that will be uh, unfolding. For um, uh, it, it's very important to to, to continue the, this this house cleaning in order to to uh, to. to to clear up our mind and to really stay focused and to really accept that only the the the, the, the light of love become dominant uh, within our life because there is always this inner chaos i don't know if i talked about this yesterday that we we always need to balance out with our free will and our uh, uh, and the guidance of the the higher self once we align with the higher self as my higher self said not to worry that it's taking care of everything so i have to trust regardless so uh, because the the we, we have to mature the point is to mature into uh, ascended master into adulthood of the soul um for we are source it's very important to realize there is this great one source that is actually three eternal source that created the cosmos and then there is the great gods of the cosmos and then there's a father mother god of each universe and then they, they are for god as countless uh, countless uh, uh, assistant and, and associates and coordinates and so um, so you can you can for me just like I, I, my primary connection to divinity is my i am presence and my universal father uh, of course, but uh, but but uh, I have very deep relationship with Allah. Like when I'm with Muslim people, it is really easy for me to connect to that, facilitate my ability to connect to that infinite consciousness. If I was probably with Hinduist, I would could connect to Brahma. Or for, with Christian, it's like um, uh, it's very. Um, the point is to connect to the first source and center, to God, to Christ. Of course, call on the Christ, he will assist you, but we cannot um, have a tendency to see that there is a, a bit of, um, of um, what's the name of it, um, um, this this like glorification of suffering and uh, and all that which has nothing to do with God. The Christ is uh, is a brother, is a friend, is a guide, is an, is, is the overall coordinator of all that is going on within the, this planet. And uh, and so uh, so we we thank him very much. If you ever call on him, uh, he will come to you and he will change your life. If you haven't met met him yet, I trust that. Um, the first time we meet him, it is always transformative. It's always transformative. It's always enjoy. Sometimes he calls on me. Sometimes he comes down. Sometimes uh, I call on him. And so, uh, what did I wanted to talk about? Uh, I think that's that's what I wanted to, to conclude this video. I wanted to pull out some oracles, perhaps. Let's see. 
Well, oracles are not really necessary. Eventually, we rise above astrology, above uh, oracles, above what anybody else says, because we have this one consciousness of the one that is uh, omnipresent and, and dominant within our consciousness. It means no matter where we go, we can never separate ourselves too much from it. Of course, it is always good to recenter ourselves, to think of the of the source, to let to free our mind in order to to achieve the um, more uh, commun communion with with the Creator, because that's what brings the greatest fulfillment, is, is this this unification with the one Creator. So the past is the Joker, is the fool. We we have transcended fear. All the old fears have been disengaged, and so the, the, there is a the, the, there is this great freedom that is before us. I can feel it. I can sense it. I have, I cannot experience it just yet, but the, the feeling is so strong. I know it will be coming, and and that's why right now it is the waves of bliss to stay within the love, within the the, the good feeling thoughts. The the we we do need to. Uh, to, to complete this 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 healing and this uh, and, and and bridge all the separation and, and only God can help with that. And in the future we get the Eli, it's the devil, it's the it's the snake, it's the in a way it's, it is the ego, it is the false self, it is the illusions. So it needs to be balanced out. We cannot let ourselves be dominated by the lower natures. It is very important to allow uh, progressively to get the, the higher self, the higher consciousness. Of the Creator, to to um, to balance out all the imperfection of the of the human nature because it's always there and uh, uh, it is a shadow we carry down here. What we have within ourselves is the power of transformation. It is a brand new life. We have to look at our past with compassion and and understand the future has more to offer than the past. And so, but it is coming regardless. It is the trumpets of the trumpets have uh, ringed and so uh, have been played and so now it's, it's we don't know if it's the first trumpet or the last trumpet but we know it's going on and you can trust the process and connect to the source within our, yourself in order to get the proper guidance the more balanced out and on the outside world it's just going through is the letting go of attachment it is important we cannot move if people knew how wonderful life in heaven is they would let go of their attachment of the earth but we do have attachment to the earth and so so it's like we have to balance it out and and uh, we, we're just passing through in an event we may as well make it meaningful we may as well make it uh, make it significant um, live an ordinary life in an extraordinary way and what's extraordinary is the ability to to uh, to reconnect to uh, to, to our spiritual aspect of the immortal the eternal part of ourselves the one that is all and uh, that is the universal part that we all possess as well. So I just thought I finished this video because I had this breakup on my old phone and like, this very old phone and it's like my lifeline. And so I thank you so very much for, for your donations. I thank you for your support. I thank you for if you're on a private session, you can send me an email. Here we as an observer, we have the scribe or the um, the writer. It's very important to take notes. I have books that I need to write. I, I, it's very important to take a lot of notes, but I have all my notes here for that I took from my videos. But always t to keep a journal. It's really good to keep a journal of, of your emotion, positive, negative, uh, to, to keep it... Um, the highest wisdom is finance. <laughs> it is money. It is it is the material aspect that is what will, for me. It's like the last. It's what I need to feel completely free. For my consciousness has been freed many many years ago. But in order to operate in the world, we need this finance, and we deserve this finance. And this finance is already here. Consider it that it's already here, and we need to to share whatever comes to us as bl blessings and gifts from heaven. Um, we need we need to share some of it in order to keep the flow going and and to share all of it because we, we it, it, it's so uh, the more we can improve the quality of our life the more we'll be able to improve the quality of the life of everyone around us as well uh, what needs to be understood is the lessons and good deeds it is very much about understanding it's been really hard lessons I, I, i'm not really sure i don't understand i know the akash is going to open but i've been through like some very intense experiences some part of me are very clear about certain things and some other part of me are not so clear about it so so it will uh, it will unfold as as, uh, as it as it unfolds what we need to do is to be the healer to bring as much love and healing within every one of those situations that can be uh, challenging uh, it is a challenge but uh, but we'll grow and we have to 
trust that those experiences are created for a higher evolution. There's always deeper meaning behind uh, deep soul connections, for instance. And the outcome is Atlantis. It is the connection to the ocean. It is the connection to, to Mother Earth. It is the, the remembering of our, of our nature as uh, the children of the universe. It is in, on Atlantis where we, uh, where we actually could... Um, we, we, we were connected to, to, to those on Lemuria as well, which will be the first one probably to come, the Agartians, um, uh, that will be the, their galactic that live inside the Earth. For the, the Earth is uh, hollow for me. There's some people that believe it's flat. Me, I, I know it's hollow and, and spherical. Uh, but Atlantis is also all kinds of memories and trauma, traumas as well, because this, this civilization was allowed to be uh, dramatically ended and in two phases uh, but but uh, there was so, so much good we were really uh, we, we we could live uh, thousands of years within our physicality at the time and we were connected to the sky the, the heavens the different civilizations we were working hand in hand with with the great gods Poseidon for instance or Orlet in the, in the first time or the beginning of Atlantis still of course the, the masters are still there still observing what is going on here uh, but um, but also, uh, also the Arcturians for the, the crystals. All, all of that will be uh, th those memories of Atlantis. This, there is going to be some deep revelations about the past, about the extraterrestrials, about uh, about the corruption of the uh, what we call the deep state. Uh, we, we, we uh, yeah, of course, we, th those beings are just fulfilling their own prophecies. They're, they're just uh, we don't want to. We want to fulfill our own prophecies of joy and, and freedom and paradise for create a life that is paradisical and for the planet as much as possible for for only those who are ready will be making the shift when the great solar flash happens well i hope this message was entertaining or uh, educating or we need to balance out education and entertainment huh? so it's like laugh a lot it's, it's always good to laugh a lot i finish with this song and pull out a few 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 cards it's, it's a song called angel it talks about the angels a song of Jimi hendrix and it uh, goes like this. Angel, come down from heaven yesterday. She stayed with me just long enough to rescue me. And she tells me a story yesterday about the love between the moon and a deep blue sea and she spread a wing eye over me and she say i shall return tomorrow and i say fly on my sweet angel fly on through the sky Fly on, my sweet angel, tomorrow I will feel you by my side. And sure enough, this morning comes to me, a silver-winged silhouette against the glow of a child's sunrise. And as the blue bird and sparrows envy me, she said, I love you, little boy, and today you shall fly. She kissed me once, and the feeling so good it made me cry. And now we fly together. And I say, fly on, my sweet angel. Fly on through the sky. Fly on, my sweet angel, together we shall always be alive. Great songs of Jimi Hendrix. It is to a reminder that the angel reminds us of our eternal, immortal nature. I send greetings to my guardian angel and angels, and to all of yours as well, So we, because they're wonderful beings and we want to get closer to them. They're very discreet, though. I'm going to finish with a few cards. And, uh, I thank you so very much for, 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 for bearing with me through those many years. Now we're really close to this liberation. I hope you, you verify the, say that YouTube keeps uh, um, this, uh, um, uh, this subscribing people. So if you want to follow this message, make sure you're still a subscriber. And thank you for your likes, for sharing your, your, your presence. 
the the observer of the day's consolation for me personally is a lot to consolate myself from by going through all those traumatic times those like this deep initiation time it was like uh, years of uh, of, uh, of confinement it's like uh, exile so to speak so there, there's going to be healing and the, heal, the healing is very close the highest wisdom is courage courage to confront whatever fear or, or weakness or doubts or that we have what we need to understand is the request, is to, 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 give the, to, to create the proper thought form that can commune with the higher thought form that can become. So it's like a, the request is like the more we, the, the, how do we align with the cosmic mind? How do we align with the mind of, of God? How do we align with? Uh, so, so it's like to continue to refine your prayer and refine your. Uh, and the angels are always in between. To, to, to whatever happens, the angel always is like, is like a, a good, um, a good lawyer in relationship to God. To like, to, but God already knows. He's got this infinite knowledge and mercy. So, the, and the angel know that God knows. So there is there is never any. Uh, but there is never any communication either. It's, it's an interesting spiritual phenomenon between the I am presence in Inside, and the guardian angel outside. The guardian angel rules all relationship, and the the, the the I am presence rules all of the what's going on within the mind and, and physicality. And they never, never, never communicate, but they, they always work in synchronicity, which is a big mystery in the universe. Other spirits do not understand that, but maybe the angels do, or maybe the I'm sure the Creator does. So what we need to do is joy, to fulfill to. to, to to do things that bring us joy, to meet people, to, to, to connect with people that bring us joy, to, to do things that bring us joy. And, and joy will, will continue to, it is the, the fuel of the evolution when we live on the higher plane, to discover ever-increasing octaves of joy. For joy is an infinite virtue of the, of the heart. And uh, for, for joy, uh, the, the God in his infinite serenity, experience joy in all things, even, even in the suffering, you, you cannot... I don't see how God could just separate the suffering from the joy that uh, that is. So, so it is for us to learn to return to that joy, to return to the uh, consciousness, the thought, thought forms that uh, that bring us into portals, portals, portals of ascension. It's like a continuous. Um, and the outcome will be doubts. We're going to be confronted with this this ally, this devil that we had. Huh? So, so it's like. Uh, those are just uh, challenges to overcome, and eh? so, so it's like the ego mind. And uh, uh, but knowledge, uh, eventually there is knowledge, and, and through that we're growing into, uh, we're growing, and we are. Uh, see, he's got, he's got this, uh, he's got this crown here. It's like uh, so, so it's like the, the, our experience. Um, if we are able to change our perspective in relationship to things, we are moving a lot faster. Then there is hope, of course. When there is doubt, there is always hope. We have to keep hope. And then there will be acceptation. So uh, as we accept, we move with the flow with, with what is already been written by the higher self in the divine plan. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you very much. And I'll talk to you later. Namaste, my friend.